What's going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. Today we're taking the NAMI Blast Max and we are doing a regular everyday commute. So whether you're interested in seeing the sights and sounds of New York or you want to see what it's like to ride a high performance B scooter on an everyday commute, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't seen the long range high speed route that I did with the NAMI Blast, I am going to leave a card here so that you can check it out. Today, it's gonna be pretty opposite of that. We're going to do a straightforward route from Queens into Manhattan. And we have to get there in the next 30 minutes because I have to be work at work in 30 minutes. This route is actually been requested quite a few times because I always get asked like, Ivan, why do you take the longest possible route into Manhattan instead of taking kind of the direct bridge over? That's just because I do ride therapy sessions and I find those routes a little bit more interesting than this route that we're about to take today. But still this should be a lot of fun since it's basically rained for the last three days and it rained all morning the bike lanes should be relatively empty but we're gonna see how this goes here what the bike lane might be the fastest way here we'll check back there okay so in my previous video I said that the scooter was a bit jumpy in the higher modes and that I would basically ride it to work in either the second or third setting which is drive or sport and currently I have it on sport mode which is the third setting and this third setting is actually it's really nice and really easy to control so I guess if we bring it down all the way here it's a bit more like the Klima in terms of ride feel as far as the acceleration but this is nice comfortable and easy which is kind of what you want on an everyday you know i know i know i know there's gonna be people that are like ivan i like it a hundred percent a thousand percent of the time cool i mean you do you homie you do you There are days I want to fly and engage hyperspace mode on the NAMI Blast Max. And there are days like today where I just want to get to work. And since the roads are kind of wet, I don't want that front wheel doing anything too crazy, you know? So, quite happy. Quite happy in sport mode. Whoa, what are you doing, man? These people. I'm trying 
trying to chill too. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to be like, I'm just trying to have a good start to my day, man. Yeah, in the third setting, I'll show you here, you can literally like mash the throttle and it's not gonna try to kill you. So that's quite nice on, on a wet day like today. I hope the bridge is empty. It's actually pretty cool right now, so that might mean we have a lot of people on the bridge, but hopefully I'm the only one commuting. I know it's a little crazy to see cars cut you off like that, and it might be a little stressful. And it's also a little crazy to see city bike guys riding the wrong way along with mopeds, but this is unfortunately the normal everyday commute for us. Like, if you look here, the bike lane completely sealed off. So now we gotta ride through this nasty puddle. And then jump on the sidewalk and get back into the bike lane which is blocked off by a car. <sighs> Woosa. Woosa. <sighs> breathe, Ivan, breathe. It's all good. Remember, you're chilling on the scooter and you're not taking public transportation. And you're also not driving, so. Musa. Oh, what's this? NYPD roadblock. Okay. There has been quite a bit of roadblocks here lately. Oh, school safety. Okay. I've never seen NYPD school safety before. That moped guy bounced real quick. <laughs> the moment he saw the cops, he was just like, I am not getting my moped confiscated. I mean, that, that gas moped should not be on here anyway, but... What do I know? Okay. Ah, the bridge looks fairly congested. I hope it's not like this later tonight, but we'll see. We will see. I hope you guys join me for that second half of the ride later too. Um, I'll probably put a chapter to split the, the two portions of the ride, the to work and the from work. So, let's see how it goes. And for those of you experiencing this for the first time, this is one of the biggest reasons why you really can't just plow through a morning commute. I tell guys who get these high performance PEVs for the first time, like just cause the scooter does 55 does not mean that you're going 55 all the time. 
And that's also one of the biggest reasons why I always talk about uh, throttle control and the ability to control the PEV in all conditions. That's because, like right now, we're keeping up with the bikes and the pedestrians, while earlier, you were keeping up with the cars. So, that is one of the biggest reasons why I like a bit more of a chill ride feel when commuting. Makes it a little bit easier and a little less stressful for me. And these blast fenders are doing a great job keeping me dry. Because as you can see, the bike lane is drenched from three days. Okay, homie. You could stick to your right. City bike has fenders, you know. Okay. I haven't seen any mopeds on the bridge. I'm thinking there might be a police checkpoint at the bottom of the bridge. Which I'm okay with because they never bother me on the stand-up scooter. Nope, no checkpoint. Careful there, okay. a little bit now. Thank you, officer. Appreciate you. Okay. So, as we approach the end of this morning commute, if you like this type of video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Ah, I almost died, as it really helps the channel. If you have any questions about the Nami Blast Max, or you want to make a comment about this lady crossing on a no cross or whatever the case may be, you just want to say hi, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. You know that I answer all of my comments. And if you really like my content and you want to continue to see more, please consider subscribing. There's an icon here on the bottom right of the screen with my logo on it. If you click on it, it'll subscribe you to the channel. Just make sure you hit that bell notification so that I can notify you anytime a video comes out. A new video comes out every week, whether it's an e-scooter, e-bike, or e-skate video. A new video comes out every week. So, look forward to that. But with that out the way, we can focus on the shenanigans of fresh hour commute here in New York. Garbage everywhere. We are going to cut through here. I guess that was a bad choice, but you know what? We'll cut through here. Yep. Ugh.
and we will cut through here and then we cut through here and there we go just like magic Maybe I can make it through here. Okay. This is why wide handlebars and mirrors at the end of your handlebars don't always work. All right. So it looks like we are getting into the area where we work. So what we'll do is we'll end it here. Parking the scooter, parking the scooter. And just like that, with the magic of editing, we are back. Uh, we just finished actually um almost two hours three hours of heavy rain so i really wanted to make sure i captured this i know a lot of people are like oh ip rating doesn't matter blah 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 well in new york city it really does Look how relatively nice the weather was this morning. And then all of a sudden, boom, the skies open up, heavy thunderstorms, and it was an absolute crap show. I actually sat in the office for a good hour and a half just trying to mm, wait out the storm. Yeah. IP rating, extremely important. But that just means we have to be extra careful. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's that heavy thunderstorm that we just missed. If we end up with slightly blurry footage, pardon, I won't be able to clean the, the lens while we're riding, so damn, starting to come down on us. I'm not ready for this. I am definitely not ready for this. Notice how a section of Manhattan was nice and sunny and then now all of a sudden we're underneath rain oh god I hope my camera is okay so I did say I was going to use the lower modes when commuting I've decided to bump it up to uh, mode 4 which is uh, C which is the custom mode. I believe that's 90% power. Oh, come on. I should probably lower it just because the roads are so wet. And I might slip out, but I should be okay here. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What is you doing? Okay. And again, pardon my voice if I am a little uh, raspy right now or my voice sounds a little worn out. I did just spend nine hours with clients, so my throat's a little done for. All right. 
I don't know if I should slow down or speed up because I feel like I caught up with the rain now. But it's too late. Look at that. Absolutely blue skies over there on the left. But we're under rain over here. What a joke. <laughs> what an absolute joke the weather is here. And the further up north we get, the worse it becomes. You know what? We're going to make a right here. We've got to be careful of those metal. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the clouds seem to be extremely dark where we're going. So I might even just shut it down here. Um, but we're going to keep going for as long as we can. We're going to see what happens here. You know what? I'm going to lower this, the setting. The scooter has become much easier to control as I spend more time with it, but this is not something I want to risk. You know, I wouldn't be so paranoid if it were just the scooter and me. I can always get these slacks. Uh, I can always get them dry cleaned. My shoes I can always get, I guess, repaired. I kind of wore suede Oxfords today because I was not expecting it to rain at all because there was no chance of rain in the forecast and then all of a sudden, look at this nonsense. So, uh, a little frustrating, but I'm going to try and make it to the bridge, see how it is. There's some coverage from the rain there, so I'm hoping that my camera is okay. Yeah. Come on, dude, you gotta move a little faster. You know what I might do is I might turn off the X3 and just leave the one RS on. And just record myself in third person. So, everyone, if this is it, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this abridged version of the commute home. This is not exactly ideal conditions for the camera, but you know what? Yeah, I don't want to risk not having this camera, so it looks like it's only going to get worse as we head west into Queens. Yeah, look, look at that. That's, that's madness up there. That is pure jet black heavy duty rain, so I'm going to keep this guy running, but I'm going to put the X3 away, so. All right, everyone, so I am going to be relying on the microphone for this camera, so uh, I hope you can hear me, and we're going to finish up this commute with just the RS.
I would, every time I do one of these commutes with a new mommy, my pants would crunch. Jeez. <laughs> Also keeping the camera on just in case we get into a little uh, accident with a vehicle. So that thing is my crash cam right now, but this is how I usually run things, but I hope it doesn't come down any harder. Alright everyone, I'll see you in the next one.